This is a video demonstration on the 10 core Alpha Step 500. It's a DOS based program, so when it boots up, this is the screen that it comes to after you initialize the system. Everything's controlled by the keyboard. If you want to change your stylus force, you have to take off the environmental shield and this top cover here. So on the back here it says stylus force adjustment and it has an arrow pointing to this Allen key here. Uh, very small adjustments will change the force. So we went from 9 to 7.9 and that's how you would have to increase or decrease the force of this. One thing to keep in mind is when you're doing the force adjustment you cannot have anything under the stylus. We're going to set it, try to get it for 10. And that's close enough. So under the recipe mode, these are all recipes that are stored. Um, we're going to measure the first standards 880 angstroms. So we'll use this program here. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and change any of these settings uh, and then just save it under a new file name uh, for your specific program. Uh, you can see here all these uh, cursors are set up to do a measurement once it's done scanning. And these are the different uh, parameters you can have automatically come up in like a summary page uh, after the test is done. So once your program is selected, you would hit F5. brings you to the camera screen. You position your sample that you're going to measure. Uh, you have a zoom here. If you want to zoom in on your surface. The knob back here uh, this adjusts uh, stage tilt. So if you notice that your uh, trace is running excessively uh, up or downhill, you can adjust this and it will correct that. So once your stylus is positioned, you can arrow down and it drops the stylus. And then you just hit F8 to start measurement. Now, I have it set to do a repetitive measurement.
So this is the surface. Uh, you can adjust your cursor positions where you're going to measure. So this is the right side. Hit spacebar, it will switch to the left side. And you can also do a, a level. If you hit F10, it goes to the level screen. You can see where your cursors are now. And just hit level and it will replot. So you're getting a height of uh, 874 angstroms. And then if you went F2, uh, it summarizes what was selected uh, on the previous screen in the programming. So now we did, we changed the measurement range uh, and we're going to measure a standard that's 4.476 microns. So now that you, you can see the traces is not level. So you can either do a software level or you could do the manual adjustment that I said before. Uh, but to do a software level you just hit F10. You move the right cursor to the end. Then you just hit F10 again, and it gives you a replot. And then you can go to the right, and as you see, it's 4.462 microns. And then the last sample we'll measure is uh, 9,443 angstroms. So the trace is pretty much level. Um, you, if you want to just level it again, you can. And then um, for your measurement cursor, if you position it to the left of where you want to measure, and then with the left or right arrows, and then you push up and down arrows, it's going to give you two cursors. And what this does is averages the data between the two cursors. You can also do the same with the left. And that's to kind of average out the noise if you have a, a sample that it has a lot of noise on the surface. And as you can see, uh, our standard was 9,443 angstroms, and you're getting 9,349.